guys, what's up, and welcome back to Cupcake Smashup. It's me, Pei, here, and please don't mind my voice. I have a really bad cold right now, but today I'm doing this British versus American language collab thing. So basically, I obviously have an American accent, and Simple Smoothies has a British accent, so we both said words that we call different things, and we pre-recorded them, and then she edited them together. So thank you so much. This was such a fun collab. Presentation. We also say presentation, but I thought you guys pronounced it presentation. But yeah, that's cool that we pronounce that one the same. Um, but if you pronounce it differently, tell us in the comments. Um, movie theater. Okay, so we call this one a cinema, but we have like a theater, which um, so cinemas are where you're gonna go see a film slash movie. Um, but a movie theatre, or well, we just call it theatre, is where you go see the pantomime or something like that, or we just call it the pantomime. Um, but yeah, it's where you see like all the stuff like that, if that makes any sense. Tic tac toe versus knots and crosses. Again, that just sounds so much nicer. Like, knots and crosses, it makes sense. And tic tac toe doesn't make sense, but we do have a little song. Tic tac toe, give me three in a row, give me next, give me. I don't really know it, but yeah. Yeah, we did used to think that also, but obviously, I think that's obviously from America. So, yeah, we call it knots and crosses because obviously there's knots and there's crosses. Um, so, yeah, I think that makes a bit more sense than tic tac toe. Have no clue where that came from, but I only actually realised that whilst watching an American TV show that we pronounce it differently or say something different. So, yeah, it's very weird. Purse. Okay, so purse for us is like where you keep your change, like your money and your stuff like that, like your ID and stuff. But handbag for us is this. Um, so yeah, it's a bit weird that we have opposites. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys call what we call a purse a wallet. If I'm correct, tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, on to the next one. Cab or taxi. Yeah, to be honest, I think we just say taxi. I don't really hear people say cab unless they're referring to an American one. But yeah. This to us would be a caravan. Over in the UK, we have caravan parks. Trailer. And stroller. I don't know why it's called a stroller. Again, I honestly don't know why most things are called what they are, so yeah. So to me, stroller makes sense because obviously you're strolling whilst you're pushing it, like walking. Um, so we would call it a pram or a push chair, which I suppose push chair makes, wait, push chair makes so much sense because you're pushing a chair around so i would say push chair is probably the most like logic one um and also i have just thought we say wheelchair because it's got wheels on it so push chair makes sense as well because if we're trying to keep things together wheelchair and then push chair i don't know they're basically some more the same okay this makes sense um, erasers are made out of rubbers, out of rubber, but I don't know why we call it an eraser. Um, yeah. To be fair though, we do say both eraser and rubber, but we would mainly say rubber. I would say rubber mainly. I don't think I really use eraser. I don't know. It's, we use both. Cops versus police. So, we call them police if we're being more formal, but typically, yeah, we'll just call them cops, so. Yeah, I've only heard a few people over here call them cops, but some people say coppers, um, or what's the other one? Some people pronounce police really weirdly, they pronounce it police, I think, I don't know, something like that, so we all pronounce it differently over here anyway, so <laughs> it's probably cops is easier. And sucker versus lollipop so sucker because you suck it i don't know like makes sense lollipop also makes sense because lolly is how britain say um candy i know that's like another word for candy is lolly and then pop because it's on a popsicle stick so that makes sense too so i feel like both of these again make sense 
I'm 99% sure it's Australians that call candy or um, sweets. I forgot the word there. Um, lollies, but we say lollies for like anything that's on a stick. So we've got these type of lollies that are like that on the photo. Lollipops, which are obviously like chubby chubby lollies. Um, I don't know. Like, you know them double liquor lollies? If you're in the UK, you should know what I mean. Like, the two-layer ones, and anyway, yeah, so that's what we got. Uh, we call lollies. We don't really call, like, I'm trying to think of an actual sweet here. Um, Smarties, or, like, what well, you guys in the US call Smarties, we have fizzes. We call stuff like that here, which call them sweets rather than these. Um, but yeah, these would be lollies to us, and then we wouldn't call the other things lollies, if that makes any sense. Popsicles versus ice lolly. So, popsicle, I don't know why. The sickle, I don't really know what that means. I'm sure it's pretty obvious, but like, pop again, because it, yeah, I don't know. And then ice lolly is, again, candy, but it's ice. But it's like a frozen candy. So it's an ice lolly. I like it. I don't think I've ever heard anybody who's British say popsicle before. Um, I've definitely heard that one on a lot of American sitcom type stuff. Um, and then also, you guys say fudge sickles. We don't even have them here. I don't even know what that is. So, yeah. <laughs> Splinter versus spelk. Okay, I love spelk. That is such a fun word. Like, I wish we called it a spelk. Um, splinter. Oh, I don't know. All of our words just sound so, like, boring compared to your guys' words. <laughs> to be honest, I really think this one depends where you're from. So some people will say spelk and others will say splinter. So, yeah, I personally say spelk, though. So I don't know if it's just me. What do you guys say if you're from Britain or if you're from America or just from wherever? What do you guys call it? So, we will call it a sofa, but rarely will you hear an American call it a sofa. Mostly, we just call it a couch. Also, sorry about this one. I've still left Splinter underneath the American word. Just imagine it says couch there. But anyway, um, yeah, we just say sofa or satay. And then we have dish soap versus washing up liquid. I feel like dish soap is a simpler way to say it. And you know, Americans are very lazy. I'm sorry, I can't do a British accent. Um, but yeah, Americans are so lazy. And I feel like dish, like if we said washing up liquid, that would be way too long for us to say. And like, we're so lazy. So we just say dish soap. Um, but washing up liquid is more proper and longer more complicated way of saying it um yeah i'd have to agree i mean washing up liquid it's just to do washing up so that makes sense dish soap soap for us is like a bar of soap i don't know um or like you know when you're washing your hands and then you've got soap like that i don't know we wouldn't really say soap over here like for washing your dishes and um, no this is washing up liquid for us um yeah also that sounded more australian um i can't even do an american accent because it would just go australian but here's my attempt Beesh, sorry no that's a that's australian um i don't know how because americans have a lot of different accents i know so do we but it was a hard to do <laughs> um anyway <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for having me on your channel. It was a very fun collab to do.